everyone. My name is Nasko Atanasov and I come from Bulgaria. My family comes from a rural village called Tatarevo. I spent an enormous time of my childhood growing up there. When I was 20 years old, I left the country to go to college in the United States. I had no idea what I was going to study, but ended up falling in love with theater and studied theater for the next four years. During my senior year, I was able to go back to see my family, to see my grandparents, but uh, unfortunately, I wasn't going back to the same village. What was once a vibrant, beautiful community full of life, full of youth, um, had now deteriorated to th like 300 people. And the only business going on in the village was the pajama factory, which actually used to be the school where I learned how to write. I was surprised to find out that the library was still running because things weren't going so well. So I asked my grandma to go to the library for old time's sake. And the librarian, this wonderful lady full of energy said, ah, your grandma tells me you study theater. Would you like to see the theater? And I said, what theater? <laughs> Uh, I know there were plays in the village, but that was all in the school, right, Grandma? Uh, no, there's a theater here. You want to see it? And so uh, we went to the first floor, and there's this door that had always been locked in my childhood, and I remember it, and I never knew what was behind it. And she unlocked this, the, the door, and lo and behold, like one of the most beautiful theaters I'd ever seen was right in front of my eyes in my very own village after I'd traveled 5,000 miles to the other side of the world and by chance started studying theater. So I went back to finish college uh, and I had no idea how I was going to revive this building or do something about it, but I knew something had to happen. And in all honesty, I'm an actor and I love acting and that's what I want to do for my work in life. So I moved down to Hollywood after I graduated college with my friends. And like the only idea that I had was that maybe if I made it as an actor in Hollywood, I could use the fame, I can use the money, I can use the connection to go back and rebuild the theater and, and reopen it for the community. But fortunately, in Los Angeles, I met people that convinced me that this thing can actually happen now. And I believe that it does need to happen. Uh, sooner rather than later because the community is diminishing and my dream is to have our village live on. To have young people go back to the community, young people who don't want to just do agricultural work, which is the only work you can do in most villages in Bulgaria right now. Young people who want to create, who want to inspire, who want to do something out of absolutely nothing, who want to pursue their passions all in this lovely little village that used to be the most beautiful place I remember from my childhood. So naturally, um, we founded the project Unlock the Stage. We've assembled a team of incredible, young, talented, inspirational people, filmmakers and theater makers, ready to donate their time, skills, effort, uh, to come to Bulgaria for this summer to renovate the theater as much as we possibly can. And we want to organize the local communities and have live performances there starting this very summer. We have the people, we have the time, we have the support of the community, and we have the space. We have this incredible opportunity and we need your help. And the only missing part of the puzzles are the funds, which are very, very accomplishable. Thank you so much for your time. I'm looking forward to sharing our future with you.